you had, had it filled you up, I guess, to be back out there and, and get camp on the way. Oh, great, man. The energies were there today. Um, it just, I'm just happy to be back with my teammates, man. Just be out there on the field, everyone happy. Fans were invited to training camp, getting to see their favorite players up close and personal. And one player that is becoming a fan favorite, of course, is Jeffrey Simmons. Um, I mean, you know, last year don't matter. You know, it's all about what can we um, contribute to the defense this year. You know, um, you know, because you want to talk about last year, we weren't good enough. Under pressure, hit, sack! Jeffrey Simmons in trouble, sack! Stafford under pressure, grabbed again, sack! Has time, sack! Big Jeff. I hate this feeling, so going to the offseason, whatever I could do as a leader, as a captain on this team, you know, to get the guys, you know, going more and coming in for this next season, you know, um, I'm trying not to have this feeling again. So, you know, it's all about each and every day, especially in camp, because this is where it matters. This is what we build our team, and this is what we build our um, culture here in camp. Titans report for training camp. The veteran players have been off since mid June, but we all know these days in this league, the work doesn't stop. Titans head coach Mike Vrabel says he expects his players to continue to get in all the necessary physical and mental work during their off time so they can be fully ready once camp opens. You know, I did a lot of stuff with footwork wise, especially with my uncle you know, up there in Dallas. You know, we did a lot of feet work, ladders, um, always, you know, keeping my feet moving through the rush and all that stuff. Um, it just, um, like I said, uh, repetition is everything. So. Titans defensive tackle Jeffrey Simmons is giving back to his Mississippi high school in exchange for their honoring of him. The school's football practice facility was officially named after him Thursday. Now the Jeffrey B. Simmons Field House. Each and every year I go back to give back, um, and it's so important because, like I said, you got these kids, they look up to us. That's where I grew up at. That's where I spent all my childhood life at, um, you know, because it's, it's bigger than football, you know. I want them kids to see that as well, so um, that's where you know, us as leaders in our community and me as a leader here in Tennessee, by going back down there, that's showing them that, you know, it's bigger, you know, it's, we could go higher than just making Mississippi. Good solid start to a competitive practice. Titans on three. One, two, three. Five. You ain't been giving no pep talk. We don't need no pep talk or pass, come on. Um, when, it, when I think about training camp, you know, each coach very coach cheating them, they're going to coach us hard. They're going to coach us hard. Take a fast step and your hands down. The only chance you got is if he came straight off. You know, we might mess up at practice. We might step wrong, especially playing D-line. You know, I'm going to take coaching and come back. Like I said, my goal each and every day to be better than I was yesterday. He's improving, which is what you expect a fourth-year player to do. I mean, uh, the good players are always trying to find ways to get better. There we go, D! This year, you know, I'm just go out there and play hats on fire because I, I don't want to come in, okay, I'm going to do this this game, I'm going to do this this game. I, I just want to live in a moment. He comes out here and works as hard as anybody on this football field. Yeah. Each and every day, our standards are our standards. If we talk about full tip to the tackle, I'm going to do that each and every play. There, there, there we go. There we go, 5 7. Don't no, set the tone. Set the tone. Set the tone. Yeah, it's amazing. Like, he sets the tone for our defense. Oh, he talks now. He, <laughs> he definitely talks. You got a head start. Hey, how you gonna be the last one, too? You know, I'm a big um, believer that up the trenches, we set the tone. And, um, you know, by me talking a lot, me having fun, me juiced up, that's gonna get everybody else on the defense juiced up. So I think that's that'll never change. And, uh, I mean, that's what we focus on this year, to try to keep the energy high. Energy, energy, bro. Hey, get, hey energy, man. Attack on three, one, two, three. Attack, let's go. Pressure Logan. <laughs> no Logan. I was over there last You heard me? No, no, I was saying he gonna run. He gonna run. You didn't hear me on the field? No. 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 Okay. I don't like quarterbacks. <laughs> we got tight shots. We don't have no, no shoes, shoes, no. 
I heard today with some of my teammates and some more guys. Can't mention who it is, but we got a surprise for you guys. Can't wait to air out. Uh, hanging out with my teammates is always an unbelievable time. You know, this is where we get to know these guys off the field. And then, like I said, when we talking about, you know, relationships, it's not just about football, it's about off the field, um, you know, meeting their wife, meeting their family, meeting their kids. So it's always a great time with my teammates off the field, and that's why we call each other brothers. Well, Jeff is, um, you know, he plays to a certain standard. And, and when you do that, you know, you have the luxury to, to be able to hold other people to that standard, whether that's in a weight room, uh, meeting room, uh, or on the practice field. That's how you stop the run. Way to come down here. To show here these, go. especially young guys that, go, you know, that don't know and trying to figure things out and how we are as a defense, trying to build our culture. With the leadership, um, you know, uh, crossing the lines is what I'll, I'll say, meaning he's, he, not only is he um, talking to the defense, but he's also giving the offensive guys pointers. He'd be like that. So yeah, just, just, just go straight through the tackle. It's not about going behind the play. The ball will back side, you went here. He's absolutely one of the best leaders that, that you're going to find. We got to finish, D. We got to be better here, D. I know I got to be better. He'll hold himself accountable if he doesn't you know, live up to the standard that he set and that we expect of him. Well, he's a great player, but he's also a great person. Um, and he backs up, you know, everything he says. So, you know, that's what you need out of a leader like him. Especially when it's coming to dealing with defense line, you know, your technique, your fundamentals. How can I, you know, get better and be better than I was yesterday? What's going to define everything and I'll define our season is each and every day we come into this building, how much can we, you know, um, like Coach said, find your role. You know, everyone knowing their role and contributing to this team, doing their best for effort. We, no one knows how far we go as, with this team. So I think the message is, you know, each and every day you come here, know your role and do it to your best ability. So define your role, develop the team, and then obviously just start building our foundation of who we are.